Welcome to Ascension Parish Coffee Talk. A weekly show where we talk about nothing but Ascension Parish. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. This week, due to Tropical Storm Cindy, my scheduled interview had to cancel. So I've enlisted the help of my daughters, Aubrey and Sydney, to uh, show the people of Ascension Parish one of their specialized dishes um, to, uh, to cook. So um, they're gonna make chicken what? Bowtie chicken alfredo. alfredo. <laughs> Bowtie chicken alfredo. It's something they make whenever I'm just too busy to cook or I just don't feel like it. And it's absolutely <laughs> delicious. It comes from the Pioneer Woman and uh, these girls have kind of mastered it. So we're gonna go to the grocery store and pick up all the ingredients and you're gonna come with us and then you're gonna watch us cook it. Well, I'm not gonna cook it. They're gonna cook it. You're gonna watch us cook it. So this is Aubrey and Sydney, the little master chefs, and we're on our way. Yeah! <laughs> Where's your list? Did you forget the list? I thought you had it! What? Asparagus. Yep. <laughs> You're gonna get in the bag? I'm having trouble. <sighs> get, the, get this one. Why this one? That one has a blood clot on it. We'll get the one in the bag. Without the blood clot on it. Oh, what's it called? Her folly. Her folly. What did I say? Oh, oh my. So girls, why don't you tell us what ingredients we're going to need for this recipe? Well first we're going to need one to two boneless chicken breasts. We chose to do one since that one's really big. Next thing you're going to need is one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and salt and pepper to taste for the chicken. The next thing you're going to need is a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. We mix them together since you're going to have to put them in together anyways. Um, the next thing you're going to need is two garlic cloves, depending on how big they are, you might also need three. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a half a cup of dry white wine, um, and a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth. The next thing you're going to need, which we mixed together, was half a cup of half and half, and a fourth a cup of heavy cream. Next, you're going to need a full cup of fully grated Parmesan, and um, plus more for serving, depending on what you would like. Um, about 12 to 16 ounces of bow ties, which is also farfalle, or however it's called, and two tablespoons of minced parsley. We chose to keep ours solid, but you can also mince it up. It's really just for decoration. And they're fresh from the garden, too. So are we going to start off with uh, what? Okay, so pre-recording, we sliced up the chicken and seasoned it with the Italian seasoning and the salt and the pepper. So now what you're going to want to do is I set aside a plate under this for after we finish this, but beforehand we have to put in the butter and, gar butter and olive oil and let that melt. I have the skillet on low or medium-ish heat and I have the water for the pasta already going. So now we're going to put the chicken in. Letting it sit until it turns brown and then we're going to flip it over. Okay. So now we're going to put them on our new plate to put them off to the side so we can make the sauce. So next we have to add the garlic, making sure to let it sit for about 30 seconds so the flavor can cook all the way through with the chicken grease and leftover stuff from what we just made. Okay, and then what? And then afterwards we're gonna pour in the wine and the broth and let it sit for about two to three minutes. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is add the half and half and a heavy cream at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now that the sauce is 
thickened up for a minute, few minutes. We are now going to add the Parmesan. And after we stir this up and get it to melt for a few minutes, we're gonna add the pasta, the chicken, and the parsley, and it will be ready to be served. So now we're gonna add the chicken to the sauce while we're waiting. And then after the pasta gets done, we will add the and pasta and the parsley. And you just kind of want to stir this around and make sure that all the ingredients get combined together. So that way all the flavor from the chicken and the juice within it comes into the sauce. Okay, so now we are going to turn off the heat and um, strain the water from the noodles over here at the sink and then put the noodles into the sauce, stir it up, and put the parsley in and you are done. So now that we have our pasta strained and in the pot, we are going to put it into the skillet and then stir it up, put the parsley in. So now we moved over to the big burner and we are stirring in all the sauce, making sure each and every one of the pieces of pasta gets coated. So now that we're finished stirring, we're now gonna add the parsley and that's it. And what are we having with our dinner? Asparagus that you have made. <laughs> I would have taken credit for it, but I would have gotten in trouble. And where did your sister go? I thought she was gonna help you. She <laughs> wanted to talk to her friend on FaceTime. Oh, well, well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Aubrey, for making dinner. No problem. I'd like to say a very special thank you to Aubrey and Sydney for um, filling in at the last minute for our dinner. Uh, this chicken Alfredo pasta smells heavenly. And um, if you'd like a home of your own to cook your own chicken Alfredo pasta, you can always visit my website at yourrealestatewhisperer.com. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And I tell you all this, because, because you matter. matter.